Yo, what's up, fellas? It's your boy, Mark B. with Eclipse. Long care here in the beautiful city of Dallas, Texas. What's going on? I figured we'd go ahead and jump on YouTube and go live. Might as well go streaming live, guys. It is hot. We got the guys over there just, uh, just chilling. Check it out. Check out. Check, check the fellas out. Boom. Taking a little siesta. They on the clock. They resting. What is up with that? I'm gonna have to go over there and uh, spark a fire up their butt so they get up and start moving. Just playing, guys. They're taking they're taking a little rest. We had to knock out a, a tree job. Look at all that debris. So we got baby. Call him baby because baby Taco Taco. His older brother was Taco Taco. This is baby Taco Taco. And then we got Mac Daddy Mark. <laughs> I'm in there. steel heaven. I'm in steel heaven. <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's, let's, let's take a closer look at the guys, man. So he's taking his, Where's your little lunch pill? You need your lunch pill. I have my water bottle. My boss started us today. Made us work all day with no lunch. So we get water bottles for right. a pillow this, today. <laughs> Can't, yeah, we gotta keep a PG, PG out here. So there's baby, baby, baby taco, taco. baby, baby taco. I'm a, I'm taco. a burrito, though. I ain't no freaking taco. I'm a whole burrito. burrito. I'm the burrito man. The burrito you're, you're talk, I'm the burrito, bro. What's up with that, man? I'm a tamale then. <laughs> the burrito. All right, you could be a tamale yeah, then. I'll be a tamale. tamale, tamale. One enchilada. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just one of those saltine crackers. Crackers. <laughs> hey, just right. Oh, man. So what, let's check out, see what we're using to chop up all these limbs and branches. Let's see what we're using. Show I tell you what, though, this thing, for those smaller branches, for like pruning. Yeah. It weighs the same as the 193, but, I mean, it's the size of the 150, the gas car 150, but man, the only thing I don't like is that it's just as heavy as one of those. And if it was, if it's gonna be a 150 size, I think it should be lighter for sure. Let's see, let's pick this baby up. Just because it's like almost the exact same weight. It feels like when you're hanging it out there, it's yeah. like, and then when you use a 150 that has the pruning abilities of this versus the cutting ability of that. About the then, same way. Yeah, I would still, I mean, like if you're going, if they made that in the same weight, pretty much with the same bar and chain and torque that one's got, that one be our. Then it would be a 193, pretty much, because it's there in the weight just by the battery. Yeah. But as far as cutting, it cuts really great. It, it does. Cuts anything that this one cuts, just not quite as aggressively, like. So this is the MSA 161T, guys. It is battery powered. It's a good saw. It's a good saw, man. Still got about three three bars on that baby. Then this one's, which one's this one? This is an MS-194T. Which is a good everyday do it pretty much all here. Yeah, doing a movie. Take it down a full tree. And even that, if the tree's not very old, you can take the whole tree down with it. Yeah. Man, they're light though, man. They they both weigh about the same though. They're light. That's why I like them because you can actually get on a branch and you can hang it out there and you're not like... And then whenever the saw gets through the cut, the weight of it doesn't kind of take over and you have to catch it. So it's just a good reach out and cut. Good angle. You could turn it with one hand without having to quite get two hands on it all the time. Yeah. And then that one's the same thing. It's the same. I feel like it's the same... Maybe just a little bit lighter, but pretty much the same. It's even it's even kind of harder to turn on that one side because it's got this heavy battery back here versus all your weight stuff being up there. It just seems like it's easier. To what do. about the balance though? I mean, is balance it, is great. Is, oh yeah, balance it is. is good. Yeah, you can definitely reach out and touch somebody. Yeah, balance is good on it. It's a good saw if you're into the battery machinery. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I kind of like the battery. It's, good, I mean, it's, it's quiet. It's quiet. You ain't breathing fumes like I always say. It ain't as loud as these, but at the same time. Actually, 
Let it's me see. Not, it's not for the big tree jobs. It's for like a pruning, for like pruning branches. I mean, let me see here. I'm gonna a few let's inches see. or so in I'm diameter. Gonna Pup, let me see. Turn turn that puppy on. Let's fire that pet puppy up. Oh yeah, it's quiet. It's definitely it's quiet. quiet. For sure. For sure. Why wear my Hearing protection. Yeah. That way it's just as quiet in here as it is out here. <laughs> ah, dude, we could definitely knock out tree job six o'clock in the morning. But this is a good yeah, this is a good And of course that's just your standard yeah. gas power. But anything but, that's you know, so big. But if you're gonna be swinging around the weight and then you know you're gonna get to bigger cuts. That's I'd go with that, huh? Take up in the tree. If not, you're gonna be two different saws all the time for baby cuts and then one for Yeah. But for the weight and all that, man, they're they're good good combination. Yeah. Sure. I just wish they would find a way to make it if it's gonna be like a pruning saw, a smaller pruning saw. I feel like they should make it somewhat a little bit lighter on the battery side. That would be like but, buying one of these and putting that chain and stuff on it versus buying a 150. Yeah. No, I mean, they they both cut good, they man. They are great saws. I, we, we tested them on big stuff. We tested them on small stuff. And it's quick. It's precise for sure. Tallgrass LM says, what's up? Mm -hmm. Together? Good it's a nice little combo right That's there, the right? That's the only difference right here. But if I was to... How quick and aggressive it is on the Oh, cut. yeah, here, let's... The tooth size on these, you can just tell the difference. Yeah, this this one's definitely thin. Yeah, I mean, stiff. you'll definitely tell the cutting size. These are about a nail almost. It's, yeah, see, you put them side by side, a tooth side by side, and you can just tell right there. The difference in aggressive, you know, how aggressive they are. Yeah. If I was to choose and one that, like for an everyday type of thing, I, I think maybe this one right here, huh? Yeah. For well, sure. I mean, if you got the, I don't know what the, what they're asking for these. Not too sure. These, but if you, if there's like a, a difference, a higher difference, small difference in price wise on these, I would get one of these for sure. Yeah. Just because I've used them for a long time, probably at least anywhere from eight to ten years. Use these. But usually, when you think chainsaw, you think and they just never fail. I mean, still I mean, they fail, but it's like <laughs> not very often. If I would have my choice between a steel and an echo. Or a Husqvarna or something like that. I would definitely go with the steel for sure. It's just been real dependable. Yeah. In doing what I do. We're just out there doing trees every single day. Well, we got... Can't we beat them, bro. No, nah, dude. Especially now that we got some tree and I tree jobs like lined up. It has a little bit more power. Or like a, a better power band on it than the actual 193 that they made last year. They, it feels more like the 192 again because the 192 they had a really good torquey high RPM power band on them, and then seems like the 193s they almost it almost feels like they lost some of the torque that they had in them, and it feels like they might have picked it back up somewhere in there. It felt like they had a lot of power. Yeah. Again. Versus. Because I think they changed something in the carburetors from the 192s to the 193s. I don't know exactly what the specifics are on it, but it feels like they did something. It feels like it's got more power when you're going through the bigger stuff as to where the 193s would almost, it almost like the clutch would slip and the blade didn't really want to turn. But they still really good saws. Never, never not gotten through a job with the steel. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I want to check out the cuts you made, though, man. Because these are some massive cuts. What size is that bar on that? 14 inch. 14? Yeah, dude, that's... That's a big cut. Yeah. That's a big cut. Pretty decent size cut for a small saw. 
And it went through it like butter. You had, yep. No, no hesitation. Knock that one out, knock that one out. Then there's one on the other side. Then on the other tree, we knocked two or three. What? How many did we do on that uh, two? There was one here that had a big Y on it. And then there's one big one that went over the mailbox. That was hanging real low and I cut off. But there's the debris, man. It's not too, not too shabby. Not too bad. Not too shabby. And we got baby over there just chilling in the truck. He's ready for his weekend. He's ready to go. You ready to go? He's saying, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry too. No All right, guys, just wanted to come on here live. I figured I'd go ahead and just do a little streaming. Pretty chill day. Not much. We had a couple of lawns to mow. We had the tree job. We got a couple of other tree jobs that we gotta. I gotta schedule maybe in a couple of weeks or so because we have a sod installation, uh, about three flower bed cleanups we gotta do. So I wish I would have had a before picture. Actually, on my Instagram, I think I'll I'll post a before picture. I think I took a before picture. Hopefully, I did. If not, uh, you guys just can imagine. Just imagine all this right here with big with all that debris right there so uh all right guys well let's get out of here let's go get something to eat what sounds good burrito sounds good to me <laughs> man a burrito or a hamburger bro burrito for you and barbecue for me all right he wants barbecue i want a burrito and baby usually just eats chips i always ask him what do you want to eat for lunch oh just give me some hot chips give me some hot cheetos that's what we're gonna eat I'm gonna eat a burrito, barbecue, <laughs> baby's gonna eat chips, right? You want chips or what do you want? Yeah, yeah I already know I want some chips. I want these kind. Oh, him and his talkie talkies. Talkie talkie. That's what we call him. I want a burrito, for real. If you get a burrito, I want a burrito. You want a burrito? All right, man, well, let's get. All right, guys, thank you for watching. We got to get out of here because it's hot. We'll see you on the rebound. Peace out. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy.